Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. In this video, we will try to see how much weight you can put on the XF short bar 15 kg. This video is actually a request from one of our uh, followers. Uh, thank you so much. And he wanted to know how much uh, weight can we put on the XF short bar. So we're going to do, I suppose, uh, three types of uh, discs. Um, number one is the XF bumper. Number two is the either the sport training discs. And number three is the IPF uh, discs. And uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work because I need to load and unload everything. Um, so let's get started. Okay, first up is the XF bumper. Um, I'm counterbalancing this side with uh, 25 kgs. I'm probably going to have to load um, more as we put on more weight on this side. So this is a 20 kg XF bumper. I'll bring the, the rest and see how much we can fit in. Okay, so that's a pair of 20s, so that's 40 kgs here. I think this is as far as it goes. Um, so we've got a pair of 20s and also a 15. So that makes it, oh God, 40, 55 kg on one side. So technically about 110 kgs uh, on both sides. This is if you are using the XF bumpers. That's a small space for, for you to put your um, collar. And uh, let me just put it on and see how that looks like. So I've got my lock jaw here. And if I put the lock jaw, yep, the lock jaw is coming out a little bit, but not much. You should hold the weight in. in. But for XF, I reckon that it can go up to 55, 55 kg per side, okay? Let's move on to the spot training this and see how much it can, it can handle. I have to be careful when I take this out. Bismillah. Okay. Right, this is the, ex uh, the spot training, 25 kg. Oh, it's just tiring. Uh, okay. Let me just counterbalance it. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but I really don't know. <coughs> All right. Ugh. So that's already 75 kgs on one side. And still have a lot of space here. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, now this is tricky. I've run out of uh, spot training this of this color and it's actually that one over there. So, um, I'm gonna use the uh, black spot training disc. So essentially it's the same as the red one. Look at that, it's not, it's not topping over. And you still have space for the collar. Here you go. Yeah, I bet you can put another tens here 
and it should be all right. But let me just put more weights on the other side so that this thing doesn't fall over. Okay, I think that's the, yeah, there's, there's not much space for the collar. So I would recommend that um, the most that you can go is actually 200 kgs, right? Not including the uh, bar, of course. There you go, see, with the collar. I think, uh, oh my God, who needs a workout, right? <laughs> Okay, so you have uh, 100 on each side, it's 200 kg, so that's 200, 200. Uh, my, my ox the oxygen is not going to my brain. That's 215 kgs, including the bar. It's pretty decent for a short bar, right? Okay, next up, uh, we're gonna do the IPF disc, and obviously you can put so much more, but I'm thinking whether I should do it. I think this should be enough for you guys, right? <laughs> That's a lot of 25s. Okay, let's see. There is no better way of doing this without risking the whole thing toppling over. So, well, so be it. And now to load up with the IPF disc. Maybe I should not have worn jeans today. Sweating. <coughs> As you can see, there's a long way to go. I don't think I want to finish this. What do you guys think? Oh God. So I've maxed out on the right side with the spot training disc. Now it's a matter of just loading up the, on this side. Whew. But still looks good. That's 200. What do you guys think? That's already 125 on this side alone. And I can imagine I can put another three plates before we run out of space for the collar. About three plates. Guys, you know what? Let me just do the measurement and we'll just, you know, uh, we'll just consider that as the uh, limit of the, the bar for the IPF disc. All right, so let me just measure three discs. So that's about Slightly more than, uh, what is that? Three inch, three and one eighth of an inch. So three and one eighth of an inch. See? So it comes up to about right here. You still have plenty of weight. I don't know how we do this. Let's put the collar right at the end with a little bit of space for the sleeves. Let me just measure how long is this. That's about, about four and a half inch. So yeah, you can fit four more IPF discs on this sleeve. So which will give you four, five, nine, nine plates on each side. I think it's more than enough for most people. Right, so let's not go there. Oh, if you need, if you need to get a proper powerlifting, <laughs> if you need to get a proper powerlifting bar, then just get the uh, performance powerlifting bar instead. 
Head was tiring. Okay, so what is the conclusion now? With the XF bumper, you can load up, up until up to, what was it, 40, uh, 55, 55 kgs per side. Um, with the sport training, you, you can load it up to, was it 200, uh, 100 kg per side. And uh, for the IPF, theoretically, you can have nine plates of, um, nine plates of the IPF 25 kgs. Um, that is uh, 225 kgs per side, which gives you a total of, uh, oh God, 450 kgs. 450 and 465 kg, including the bar. I hope that answers your question. Sorry, I can't remember your your uh, name, uh, but thank you again for for asking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. If you haven't, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, tell your friends, please. And uh, please don't forget to turn on the uh, notification. Uh, that's it for us for this week's uh, Zilfit TV episode. I hope to see you in the next one. If you have any suggestions of what you want to, you want us to, uh, to, to, to shoot, uh, with regards to uh, the Eleco equipment, let us know, and uh, we'll try to make it work. Um, so, till then, see you in the next episode. Inshallah. Bye.